On this small experiment we're going to be testing two products. Uh, one's Kent Fuel Guard 2 that um, intimates that it dissolves water and fuel uh, against Aquasolve and just see the effects on standard um, red diesel and obviously we have a container here with water. We'll fill both of these up uh, with the red diesel and we'll put one mil of water in these 100 mil uh, bottles um, so we've got an equal percentage of, of contamination by water and we'll just see the effects on both the products uh, just out of interest really so I'll just pause this and then uh, top up the 100 mil bottles here with um, with diesel and then uh, we'll put the water in and put the additives in I'll just pause this for now so we have both samples of fuel um, and we'll inject one mil of water These are shake. So as you can see, water now has gone into the fuel, and then we'll be adding the independent products, the fuel guard two and Aquasolve, to see the effects on measured amounts within the fuel samples. Just for clarity, this is a brand new bottle, so I realised I hadn't broken the seal. So um, I'll have to just break that off. As you can clearly see, it's not been opened. So we'll do a measured amount and see the effects of the two additives. Starting off with fuel guard. So we'll put one mil in. One mil of Aquasolve. Through the one mil in. And through the one mil.
I do expect this to have changed colour a lot more because of the dye in Aquasolve compared to a clear liquid. and one mil. You have to remember this is a very heavy concentration of 10% realistically. And both products have a guidance on how much to be used. I'll just let that settle down for a minute, so I'll pause this, let it settle. The bubbles in here all clear now. So I'm quite happy to add another one mil. Realise there's a residue there in the uh, bottom of the syringe. And one mil. There we go. One mil. And I can already see the well, the aquasolve is clearing. Right. It has in fact cleared. So as we can clearly see now with the water contamination with Aquasolve and sample A we'll call it and then the equivalent on B with fuel guard 2 that dissolves water it's a 250ml bottle um, ours wasn't going to, ours is as small as we can sell, it's, sorry the smallest Aquasolve it's 500 mil. So let's just carry on and see how much more we have to put in. There's a one. I always find it interesting with the uh, fuel additives, not to disprove it, but just obviously as, as a company view, uh, they might have had additional benefits that were of value to ourselves. I've not seen any uh, effects on water as described. In their PDF, in their literature. 
just leave it another minute. This product is actually dearer um, than Aquasolve. I was expecting it to therefore perform better. There's still no clarity, still can't see through it. Both in the same amount of contamination. on your website on the PDF to add fuel guard and then um, put the contamination in there and uh, then top up your fuel to ensure it mixes correctly. I've not seen any results as yet. I run out of room in the jar. Yeah. I'm going to put a two mil dose in because um, we've already put four in and it's an additional. So this be the equivalent of six. Just to see if we get an immediate effect because then you can argue it's five. So as of yet, <coughs> can't really argue that it's, it's doing anything. When you look at the clarity, it's part of the regulation on fuel. So let's put another two mil in. So this is at eight more additional dosings. And still nothing. Not very cost effective then really, is it? It doesn't really do what it says on a tin. I think what we'll do then, we'll call it that that's realistically, doesn't do what it does on a, says on a tin. So let's throw One mil, we'll just do a couple of steps of this because we're not adding the aquasolve in this yet. Let's just see what happens. So 
So there's our first one mil in. Additional one mil. I don't know the effect that it would have with uh, the fuel guard stuff. I should imagine no issues because it to do anything. So now we're getting our colour change that we'd expect to see with two mil. So let's put a third in. Starting to uh, have an effect already, that. And a further one mil, because obviously we're speeding the process up. As we can see. front of the camera. And voila. So four mil was put in there and about five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen mil of fuel guard. So that's thirteen mil. We put four in. So yeah, not very cost effective. Catch you on the next one.